All right, so there's a single pill that combines three different heart medications, and it could be the next major medical breakthrough. New research just released today shows the poly pill played a significant role in driving down heart disease deaths in people who'd already suffered heart attacks. NBC News medical reporter Erica Edwards joins us now with a closer look. Uh, Erica, first, just walk us through the basics here. How exactly does the poly pill work? I mean, how effective is it? Yeah, hey Morgan. So when a person has a heart attack, they're at increased risk for a second heart attack or stroke or heart disease related death for the rest of their lives. Uh, and they're often sent home with four or five different medications, one to lower blood pressure, one to lower cholesterol and aspirin. That's a lot to take every single day for the rest of your lives. Now, researchers have been working on a poly pill, a single pill that would combine at least three of those medications, which are all generics, by the way, into one pill. Now we have real world data from Mount Sinai in New York City that shows people who, were, who got the poly pill uh, were 24% less likely to have a secondary heart attack, stroke, or heart disease related death in Morgan. That is significant, especially considering the fact that heart disease is still the nation's number one killer. Morgan. Yeah, I mean, this is huge. It would affect a, a lot of people. I mean, but, but what particularly about this pill was it that made it so effective? I mean, was it just the particular combination of medications or, or was it something else? This is all about adherence. Mm -hmm. People who were given the poly pill were simply more likely to take their medications compared to those who got the exact same medications, but were given it in multiple forms. Now, cardiologists have had this issue for years. It's difficult to get people to fill and take their medications, especially uh, elderly adults who may need more help uh, managing their prescriptions, Morgan. And Erica, I mean, a 24% reduction, I mean, that's what we're talking about here, and that's pretty significant. So, I mean, when we talk about how many people in this country suffer from heart disease, what are the next steps? I mean, is it something that those people could have access to pretty soon? There's not one approved in the U.S. just yet. However, the researchers said that these data were so encouraging that their next stop is to go straight to the FDA to submit for approval. Now, that process takes some time. And actually, other cardiologists still say that they want to see more data on how effective this pill could be. Uh, however, this exact pill has already been used in Europe since 2014. So there certainly is a lot of safety data to come with it, Morgan. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.